Okay, in this video we're going to add and subtract more than two integers. And what you do is if we're just adding and subtracting, it doesn't matter which two you start with, but we're going to work left to right. And it means that you have to add the first two here, make it into one number, and then you're able to add it on to the second one. Now before you do anything, here's my recommendation. Get rid of any double signs. There's no two signs here. It's just a negative and a number. There's just a positive and a number. But there is a double sign here because you have positive and negative. So you want to get rid of that sign. And remember, we would use a little shortcut. And the shortcuts, remember, were positive, positive equals a positive. Whoops, I guess you can't see that. If you have a positive and negative, you get a negative. Negative and negative makes a positive. So if you use that little shortcut, you can use that to simplify um, where you have double signs. Okay, so positive and negative will make a negative. So let's rewrite this. That's the first step that I want you to do in all the questions. It just makes it easier. This looks more complicated. This is easier. So now that you've gotten rid of the double sign, you can do the question. So you add together the first two, and you would use your number line. So you're going to be starting at minus two, and you're going to go up four floors. So if you use your number line, if we find where minus two is, it's right here, because remember this is ground floor. So you're starting here and you're going up four. So one, two, three, four. You're going to end up at two. So that means when I combine these two, I'm going to get two. Then what you do is you bring over the last number you haven't dealt with, and that's the negative three. And now you can go two and the minus three, and you can combine them to give you an answer. So you're going to be starting this time at floor two and go down three floors. So you're at floor two, and now you're going down three floors. So you count one, two, three, and you end up at negative one. So that's the way I want you to approach these questions where you have more than two integers. You're only going to be able to deal with two at a time.